Go into that. And so, but in order to in order to sustain um, beauty industrial complex, in order to sustain patriarchy and misogyny, in order to rest- sustain rape culture, in order to um, wait, you create say- a scenario where women are not fully um, dialed into their power. It, it it has to sort of be you know it has to be designed at the top, and that it has to penetrate every aspect of society. The thing about women and the way that they operate is that we, just like, you know, if, if women live together in a household, um, we, our, our, our cycles sync up, our menses sync up, because we're, we're the subconscious of the planet, and we transmit information to each other subconsciously. The same is true with the insanity that gets programmed into women with regard to, you know, uh, wanting to get married, or all of the ways that we have been trained out of our, our true feminine nature, all of that gets trained in because when, if you play the woman out of pocket, the woman is the subconscious of the planet. And if you make her crazy, then the planet becomes crazy. So, so are you telling we've been me that conditioned... The, are, are you telling me um, that the woman to, on to the planet it. Earth yeah, right now, are you telling me that the woman on planet Earth right now is kind of crazy? That we're crazy, for sure. Because if we weren't, we would not sit by and tolerate what passes for life on this planet. We are the people that are responsible Uh for for bearing and nurturing life. We would. We've got some tolerators in the building right now. I want you to address what Veronica is saying. All of you, starting with Whitney. Whitney, I know you're the youngest. Being crazy is not a bad thing. I, I'm, I'm crazy as hell. I'm happy. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. I, no, and I'm manic. Look, no, no. <laughs> it's, look. All right, Gemini. Anyway, no, I, I, I don't know. Look, I'm just gonna pass to Brandy. Like, I don't think being crazy is not a bad thing. The, the you're gonna say on. We have a global audience. You're going to say being crazy is cool. Yeah. All right. Are you paying your bills and you're doing your thing? You're not raping and running around raping or doing anything? You're just regular crazy. Not I'm just normal. Let's talk normal. to a... Crazy. Is there levels to this? Let's There's talk to a to more refined, <laughs> sorry, look, older, wiser crazy. Brandy. <laughs> Go deeper, Brandy. No more drinking before. In the name of Mother Nature. <laughs> Go ahead, Brandy. Just tell me. <laughs> Mother, uh, right. um, everything you do. Yep. Yeah, exactly. No. So wait, I'm sorry, Veronica. Could you clarify again, like just what you meant by that by saying that we're all crazy? Yeah, I will she say that you crazy. You, so a couple things. Couple couple of ways that you know if the woman is the subconscious of the planet and she is the one that is responsible for um, wait, 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 wait. Every- Veronica, Veronica, wait. Yeah. Let's ask the question okay. to the three to the three of you. Okay. Do you believe that the woman is the subconscious of the planet? Do you know what that means? I believe so, yes. You, Brandy? The subconscious of the planet? The, the yeah. subconscious yeah. of the planet. I agree. I agree. You agree? Yes. Tabor, you're young. You get an eye on this Thank question. Thank you. Okay? No, I'm so young. Yes. <laughs> Got okay. it. Her alone. No, she's learning here. Yes, she cool. All right. Now finish your statement, Veronica. So all of the insanity that exists on the planet today, the wars, the the way the money situation is, the way that we manipulate um, food supply, I mean, all of the things that are anti-life on this planet, and I don't mean that in the sense of abortion, I mean that are against life. We, if we were saner, we would... Would, we would stand up and, and use our power, and we would shut that shit down. But, ma- mass, but the way the male, the brutal male imperative, the insane imperative has run amok, and the way that they've conditioned us away from our power so that we're consumed with things like hair weaves and paying our bills and how, can we get a man and real housewives. We are so consumed Ooh, right. with She's things that are on y'all. non-essential. <laughs> That are, we are so consumed with things that are non-essential because they have us distracted with that stuff that we don't bother to actually ask the deeper question of what it means to take a stand for life on this planet. So you're saying women are and superficial, to basically. For, to be a force for protecting and dealing with that <laughs> because we're distracted with paying our bills. Okay. Um, there's something to that, Veronica. I agree, but I think it's a little bit myopic because, number one, I think you're presenting a perspective that is um, primarily in the Western world 
And when we're talking about the world as a whole, everybody in the world isn't concerned with what the Kardashians are doing and, and how much my weave is That's not true. this week. Yeah, they are. I said not everybody in the world. Most of the people. Um, but why not? I don't know why they're not. They're probably concerned with other things, like how am I going to eat today? You know, I mean, my kids. how am I going to feed my children today? You know, so I, I think that's a little bit narrow. I'm going to just disagree with you a tiny bit. I also think that, too, there's a certain thing. There's the nature of human beings. And, and yes, there is a lot of evil and bad things that happen. And, but I, I don't know. I just don't see necessarily a big agenda to keep us distracted from well, it. I maybe, think those things are going to happen. Maybe kind of. the, the spirit... What do, you, what, do you think, what do you think television is? It's not the most powerful, hypnotic oh, no, absolutely. machine on the planet. Absolutely that, in, in Western culture. Yeah. So does that create a contradictive narrative for women? I get to say... Yeah. I get to be at the NAACP Awards after party dancing. I'm representing the higher echelon of black culture. And when too short, blow the whistle come on, I get to yell, what's my favorite word? Bitch. And did not expect dudes to be like, that's ratchet. Let me approach her in a ratchet way. Hey, who are you approaching like that? Well, I just saw you scream out, bitch. So you gave me the signal that you hood and you get down with the get down. Oh, no, I ain't like that. Because we, we can't marginalize the entertainment industry's effect. So, like I'm saying, it creates a schizophrenic kind of experience. So not to say that it is an excuse for men to disrespect women, yeah. but when men observe women disrespecting themselves... How then are we supposed to interface? Again, that, and th women, to me, that sounds like you're saying when men I'm just asking. women in short skirts, then we can't control ourselves. Yeah. Men yeah. are always looking for a reason to say that you, oh, well, because you, you did this. Mm -hmm. No, be responsible for yourself. Every, that's every the rapist guilt conscious. That's the, the guilt. Every the now guilt. and again, take responsibility for, for your own actions. I mean, I do get what you're saying. I'm not, go, I'm not saying well, that it is. Well, deal with what I'm me. saying as opposed to asking me to take responsibility. That's a given. But you'd like to skip to me taking responsibility before you acknowledge the validity of the point I made. See, here's, yes. here's what's missing. Here's what's missing in the conversation. Okay. Please help us. What, what's missing is that if women only knew how powerful we were outside of our conditioning and what we've been trained to be distracted by... Oh. If we only knew how powerful we were, there'd be no conversation about blame, because we would, because inside of our power, we would be such a magnetic, illuminated, mm. powerful force for what's right on the planet. Mm. We wouldn't keep tolerating it. In other words, a, a woman that is fully activated and in her power, mm. a man doesn't have an opportunity to blame her. It's not even, that's not even a, a dialogue, but we, but what, see, it's the water, the insanity is the water in which we swim, so we don't even see that we're swimming in it, because it's just the water in which we swim. So, I'm saying that so, there's a higher, <clears throat> more elevated conversation that women must be in. We must take responsibility for the furtherance of sanity and life on this planet, mm. and it has nothing to do with whether or not in other words, if we up-level our energy and our frequency and our life force to a higher and higher level, men wouldn't dare disrespect, blame. That would just, the conversation would just go away. But we can't have the conversation down inside the trenches. We have to begin to elevate our awareness so that we're having it from a different perspective. Well, Brandy, I'm just going to tell you this, Brandy. I'm going with Veronica. She was educated at Cal Berkeley. I'm going to go there. Uh, I'm oh. going to trump your whole... No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just... I'm just... I'm like, just like, like, yeah. I'm like... Yeah, I'm right just now, like, I'm going to elevate my own personal <laughs> consciousness so that I won't even allow so you to smack, smack that around. around. Right on me. After right. The show, after right now, my consciousness is so elevated that I didn't even hear what you said. So, so let me just say this again. To bring it all back full circle... We can't argue the fact that rape is an emotional, physical, spiritual, traumatic situation that happens to a human being. Mm -hmm. Women get it, been getting it bad. How do they get the power back? How do they at some point? Because this is what I've 
follow me here, ladies, and then we'll take a break. This is what I've understood. Technology advances, what, every 90 days? Triples. Every 90 days, we've got another form of technology. I remember eight years ago, Quincy Jones said, hey, man, we're at the end of the computer chip. We're now going into nanotechnology. That was about eight years ago, right? So technology is always evolving. What I feel isn't evolving is our ability to heal from relationship trauma. That's right. That shit heals in geological time. The time it took to create the Grand Canyon is the time it takes for us to get over shit. So how do we heal from this particular traumatic situation? Rape. Anybody have any real question or uh, solutions to that? Or well, y- you? Yes, I do. You of all people. Yes, of course, Margo. <laughs> okay, <the> Jesus, <laughs> I'm keeping score. Go all ahead, right, Margo. Keep score, baby. <laughs> keeping score. But uh, um, as far as it goes, I think that you know when people are raped, when women are raped, I think that it's it's just time for us to really start. You don't want to keep it we, people. We, you just, well, we, well, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go to healing. That's what we're going to... Yeah, I'm not we gonna were talking about healing. Everybody okay, so get to healing. heal, right? Okay, so healing is important. Healing <laughs> healing starts with... I think that if, if there's a woman out there that's listening or there's a man who has a daughter who's been raped, I suggest buying a empty notebook and allow them to the space and time. And the, the, take woman, take the time to write. Write out your feelings. Get journaling. Out. Journaling. Journaling is very, very powerful. I've done this since I was a very young girl, and it is. it makes you... It, it grows you up, in a sense, and it actually does a lot of healing. You've been writing you comic respect. books? No, baby. Not how many books. I got books and books filled with stuff. Okay. But, but women, this is very, very important, and I think it's very helpful. And also it's important to be able to have your voice heard. Speak, tell someone. To be able to tell someone, that's freeing. It frees you. And also for them to be able to hear you and hear you and actually embrace you with love so that you can actually start to trust again and start to get your balance and get uh, grounded once again. You have to have some sort of connection. And it takes all of us as a community, and we need men's support. Women, we can't. The violence against women is not going to stop until everybody takes a part in it. And we say, you know what? This has got to stop. And it's unacceptable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That balance, part, that's part of the healing. Balance the statement. Balance. You can't just say the violence against women. Or, and men. Violence is a human condition yeah. that goes back and forth from men to women. Again, you, you, you want to talk but stats. Not, okay. But 99 Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. You want to talk stats. <laughs> stats can be manipulated in different ways. Depending on manipulated. Let me finish. We're talking. Uh, allow me to finish. Oh, really? <laughs> because I don't interrupt much. But okay. when I do, okay. silence your mouth. Respect. Now, Come on now. Yeah, now, uh, we can manipulate the information back and forth when it comes to stats, depending on who's compiling the stats. Mm-hmm. The CTS, the Conflict Tactics Survey, look it up. Conflict Tactics Survey. Most clinicians across the country use it. It's controversial. Why is it controversial? Because in their report, women are more violent than men. You guys are the perpetuators of relationship. Let me finish. Uh Uh-oh. Getting brandy. Do me a favor. (laughs) Chris, number two, engineer. Woosa. Cut them damn microphones off. (laughs) He done cut now, us off, y'all. I don't know. Now, cut him off. Writing improves your thinking. Ah. She's off. Thank you. I am on mic by myself. All you right, can't. Kim got it. Jong-Zo. You got it. You got to contain them, man, because they wow. <laughs> now, Kim CTS, right? Women are more violent. They perpetuate, perpetuate more violence in relationship than men. They throw things more to men. They slap. They push. They kick. They are the impetus for relationship more than men, uh, relationship violence. Then you throw in verbal abuse. They're way more adept than men. Women will sit here and live in a contradiction and say, oh, we're the best communicators on planet Earth, but not take control or authority or ownership of being the best verbal abusers, too. Women won't say it. Oh, we're the best communicators in the world, the but they won't claim that. The no. Come on. Right, no, I, no, no, I, come on come you on. will follow me. Cut them off. All right, then. I'm not done. Stage in a walk out. I'm not done. Let's go, y'all. Now, <laughs> the weakness, the weakness of the CTS is this. 
it doesn't account for impact. 